Hey, hey, and welcome to IMO, In My Opinion, with JNM. John, what's going on, man? That was kind of funny there, what you just did. What did I you just do? You almost started the show without pressing record. Almost. <laughs> that would have been uh, Unprofession- of unprofessional of me. That's <laughs> what that would have been. To say the least. You would think I would get used to this already, right? No, you're definitely not. Hey, whatever. I'm the only one that does shit around here, so screw uh, you. I come and I talk. <laughs> and by come, I mean... Sure. I, yeah. House, let's but, not, uh, let's not get into that type of thing. euphemism for anything. Okay. Um, so today we have another guest, uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, what's going on, man? Uh, everything's good. Everything's good? Yeah. Great. How's, how's your day? How was your day today, oh, man? my day was great. I woke up at, uh, five in the morning. There's nothing great about that. It's great. There ain't nothing great about waking <laughs> up at five in the gotta, morning. You gotta hear it. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. I'm so hearing I woke you. up at like five o'clock in the morning, then. Uh, I had a test for uh, my CDL this morning. Okay, that's good. Uh, passed it, aced it, and A or B? Uh, B. Okay, I got my B. You got your B? I don't drive a truck. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, Jimmy. Stop interrupting people, man. Let me talk. Go ahead. Yeah, I got my B. Um, it was kind of tough. It was nerve wracking at first, but at the end of the day, I passed my pre trip, my skills, my road. Good. That's good, man. So you trying to get a job driving the truck? Is that what you're trying to do? Uh, or you needed it for the job you have yeah, already? Yes. I oh, okay. For the job I got already. So. Okay. Yeah. Why the hell do you drive? Why do you need to be like you? You, dri- you cut grass for a living. <laughs> well, you know what? I needed it. For some reason, you needed to be a supervisor. <laughs> oh, is that, is that and the that's case? all I want to be. And I, I don't want to be a driver. Fuck that. Huh? Hey, driving, driving is cool. I drove for FedEx for like two years and. It was, but like I, you doing deliveries is it sucks. But I'd rather not be responsible for falling asleep and killing a family of four. <laughs> <laughs> no, You're a fucking I'm idiot. Good. Uh, okay, so uh, what what's been going on in the news today? I mean, I've been hearing a lot about this election still. It's still. I mean, I don't. I don't want to say it's up in the air because it's. I, I feel like no Biden. Biden's is. gonna win regardless yeah. of what happens. I mean, uh, I hope I, so. I think Trump's making a lot of noise. <clears throat> um. His lawyer is his lawyer, bro. Oh my yeah. God, Rudy Giuliani, bro. He he went super hard on the media Literally. the other day. Like he was telling them, "You guys are you guys are horrible. You guys are not doing your jobs. You guys are not reporting both sides of the equation. You're only taking one side." And this and that. he like went at them super hard. And you know, because the whole thing is like, "Oh, Trump doesn't have evidence." That's the whole thing, right? But they're claiming they have evidence. Now, what would you consider evidence? Like, do you think people's testimonies? Our evidence, John. Start with you. I mean, they're used in court, right? So sure. Like and then they're signing. It, and then on top evidence. of it, they're signing affidavits. So that means if they if they get caught lying it's about perfect. it, they're going to jail. Yeah. Jimmy, what do you think? You think you would use testimony as uh, evidence? Um, I don't follow politics like that. Don't follow politics. <laughs> Come on, it's all over the news. Every time you Google something, it pops up. But like the only thing I saw about it was. Uh, he, uh, you know, Giuliani, yeah, what his name is the New York, that old New York, uh, his mayor, governor, his mayor. dad fell out. Uh, his dad was like sweating off him or something like that. Yeah, That's man, the they, only thing I seen. He, <laughs> that was the only man. Fall from Grace too, wasn't he the the mayor from New York? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was 9/11. like so, and he was so praised, and so now everybody looks at him so like, fucking like, shitty because he fucking, fucking defends because he fucking defends Trump. Um, I don't know, man. This is this is getting out of hand. I mean. Here's the funny part. So, like, Trump is claiming that there was fraud, yeah. right? Yeah. But they're finding votes, right? Now there's no talk about it, right? Because now they found something wrong, but nobody wants to talk about it. Is it enough to win it? No. no. He's, it's not going to be enough. But there is a problem. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, obviously, the election isn't as secure as people think. You know, there is an issue with that already. You know? I don't think that was his his mission was to show that there's a problem. I think he wanted to win it, obviously. Yeah. yeah. But, obviously. I mean... There's still a problem that needs to be addressed. Um, it's just so crazy that people pick sides, man. Like you're either Republican or you're a Democrat. Like you, no one walks the middle, right? It's such a fucking thing. It's like PlayStation, Xbox. Like you, you can only be on one right. side. You, you can't be both. Yeah. You know? What are you, John? You're a PlayStation fan, right? You're- uh, speaking of which, I heard GameStop has a a couple. They're gonna be selling good fucking after luck. Thanksgiving. Oh, if you want to see me, shit. I'll be in a plaza at a GameStop at uh, right after Thanksgiving dinner. 
You better go there like right now. Oh, I'm gonna go with a <laughs> and, and order right and now. order. Yeah, you better start going now. With a tent and a Glock. <laughs> Shit. In case somebody tries to fucking. And stay six that, feet. That, yeah. Jimmy, what, what what are you? Are you Team Xbox, Team PlayStation? Uh, Where you at? Right now, I've been four. I see, but I'm gonna be switching. But uh, you coming to the good side, bro? Is that no. what you're telling me? <laughs> I was a PlayStation guy. Uh, I was, yeah, I was a pay- PlayStation guy because I hated <laughs> Xbox. And now I'm back at Xbox the what? New, for the new generation. Why, why did you hate Xbox? Uh, I felt like the the PlayStation was was better. Like it had everything. But now when I'm going back to Xbox, I feel like you know Xbox got better presentation and you know. So bef- so before this new one, what Xbox did you have before this new one? Uh, the Xbox One. I had it for like three months. And, and before then, that, you never had an Xbox before that. No, I had the first Xbox. The original one. Yeah, I had the first one, and then the 360, and then the Xbox. So you had all of them? Yeah. So which one was your bad experience, if you don't mind me asking? Like, which one? The one? Xbox One, yeah. Did you say all of them? Nah, you're see, Dude, you're you're such a hater, bro. You're such a fucking hater. You're a fucking hater, bro. (laughs) Understand something, John. Yeah. Okay? The PlayStation, obviously, right, people are going to... PlayStation is the apple of gaming. Everybody just goes to it because that's what they know. That's the first name that pops up. It doesn't mean that it's the best. It means it's the first thing that everybody pops pops into their head. Yeah. It's PlayStation. You say gaming, PlayStation. Or gaming and Nintendo. Xbox has always been that third one you don't think of. But it doesn't well, mean Sega. Xbox has been. What about Sega? Uh, Sega been gone, boy. Yeah. <laughs> After the Dreamcast, and the Dreamcast was badass. But see, Sega Genesis was good. Hell yeah, Gen- Sega Genesis. Was, that was his. He had that. He had that big classic so what one. what you're saying is yeah, Xbox is that ugly bitch at the bar. Not getting any uh, drinks thrown her way. No. Yeah, you kind of just did say that. Listen, here's the thing. Xbox, I had the original one. I had had all of them, basically. The issue that Xbox always had was it didn't have games in the beginning. Like the original one? No, yeah. It had it had issues with games. So, like, everything was first party. So, it was like, remember they had, like, NFL Fever? Yeah, I remember. Then they had NBA Inside Drive yeah. or whatever. <laughs> they were, like, first party games. They weren't bad. They weren't horrible. But they weren't, like, 2K. Trash. You know, like, 2K was there at the time or, or live or whatever. Mm. Um, then Halo came out, and that kind of changed the whole thing for right, them. That, right. that carried that console. Yeah, I guess. Then the 360 came out, and 360 had that big-ass fucking problem. With, uh, the, with, with the ring of with the ring of death and all that <laughs> yeah, shit, right? Yeah. Here's did you did you have a problem with yours? Yeah, yeah. When I, I had bought one used one time, and then I uh, took it home, the three ring of death, and then I had to take it back. <laughs> really? So you you got yeah. one that got fucked up? Yeah, like it was a used one. Do you remember? Do you remember which one it was? Like if it was uh like did it have an HDMI port in the back? I don't remember because like I, I remember the the first Xbox like when it first came out the first 360 model there was two models right yeah. there was the the arcade one. They had no hard drive, and then they had the Pro one that had the hard drive, and it had that chrome trim or whatever, but okay. none of them had HDMI ports. Mm. The HDMI didn't come out until the second model, the second series came out. Mm. I had a day one console, like day one, day one, and I never had a problem until I got rid of that thing. So I don't know if I was one of because it was 50% failure rate Ooh, with the high. Xbox. That's high as fuck. fuck yeah. So that means every other one was fucking failing. That's insane to think about. But even with that, John, the Xbox 360 yeah. was the best selling console of that generation. Well, minus Nintendo, but does anybody really count Nintendo yeah. nowadays? Because they had the whole. Uh, I had to really think about it. Like, wait, I did not thought about it. Yeah, it was. They had the Wii. The Wii, the Wii was the best selling console of that generation. But that that's because everybody kind of like suckered into it. Like, oh, we can swing whatever and break our TVs and we can make an right. avatar. Yeah, hey, and everybody like bought us. it. Yeah, everybody fucking bought it. Wii Sports. Wii Sports was cool. Yeah, playing tennis and playing golf and bowling. Yeah, those those are fun. Those are fun <laughs> party games. I remember the Michael Jackson game was fun. Oh, yeah, you were trying to yeah, the yeah, Michael yeah, Jackson yeah, experience yeah. that was kind of fun. Yeah. Was, what are you making that face for, it was bro? Stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we start, we, break, we yeah, leave you on the show every fucking week. This is devolving <laughs> into uh, insult city here. Yeah. Right. Um. So why do you like the uh, PlayStation so much, John? I don't know. I guess since it was the first one that came out. Like, yeah, it was. It was. I don't know. It was trendy. It was always trendy. And the Xbox, when it came out, it was just like, eh, yeah. I guess they're competition, but they're really not. Yeah, but look where they came from. They came out of nowhere. They had no no reputation whatsoever. They had no background. They just dove in. 
and they're still here. That's what's fucked it. up. Sega, like Sega's Kia. been around. Sega's been around for how long? Long ass time. Yes, and they they're out of the market. After the Dreamcast, they I'll they went the away. Dreamcast. The Dreamcast the was dream. shit. That console was ahead of its time. Right. Yeah. That console, bro. That console had so much capability, but the problem with that one was PlayStation was on the horizon. Right. That's the bad part. Yeah. Because it was better than the PS One, but Dreamcast came out nine nine ninety nine. Remember? Right. The yeah. whole advertise yeah. was like yeah. nine nine ninety nine. And literally, like maybe three months later, or four months later, PlayStation Two came out, and yeah, that wiped just, the floor just, with yeah, every win, yeah. every fucking thing. Yeah, that was the first what like one twenty eight get bit um, game. Yeah, that was yeah. like the, the first. That was that first generation that was pretty right. high. Um, it's funny we don't even think about like name like you know how it was the eight bit. Right. So it was Nintendo and Sega were like eight bit, sixteen bit, thirty two bit, and then one hundred and twenty, whatever it is. Yeah. Now we don't even call it that no more. Now it's like teraflops and fucking this and this. I don't know what it is. Sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, what was your favorite console of all time? Um, I'm gonna guess it's a PlayStation product. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. Uh, I think it's uh, PlayStation Two. PlayStation Two. Yeah. That was a good console though, because that one you could play the old games yeah. or whatever. That was pretty cool. And with the DVDs, that was the first thing. That was the first console to play DVDs. That's another thing that Sony did really well. Yeah. So like Sony, Sony was smart. So like, the PlayStation could play DVDs. Yeah. Right. Everybody was getting into DVDs at the time. Mm. When PS3 came out, it was the first one that had. It was. It wasn't the first Blu-ray player, but it was the cheapest Blu-ray right. player at the time. Can you? Can, Which was amazing. Like, dude, I don't know how they got how away mu- with that. Like, Jimmy, right. how much is the, how much does the Blu-ray player cost right now? Like at Walmart, probably about fifty dollars. Like 25. fifty, probably less. <laughs> probably less. Like twenty bucks, dude. Right. When Blu-rays when Blu-rays first came out, I was working at Best Buy. Right. The BD the BDP one thousand, which was the first one that Sony ever released, was a thousand dollars. For a fucking Blu-ray, <laughs> and the PlayStation was five hundred. Well, six hundred. It was like six hundred, and they had like a. I think it was six hundred was the, the highest one, and a five hundred dollar one. And that's what I didn't understand because people were rushing and getting Blu-ray players, but they why not get the PlayStation? Because you have a gaming console right, right. and the fucking. Well, they were Blu-ray. hard to get. PS3 was pretty hard to get, and they were short supplied. Oh, yeah, they were short supplied, like worse than what Xbox did. Because I was there, I was at Best Buy when both those consoles released. And like the store I was at that night, the night that they were releasing the next morning, I checked their inventory. They only had like 16 of the big one, the 30 gig or the 60 gig, or whatever it was. Yeah. And like 14 of the small one. But there was like 100 people outside. <laughs> and they refused. They refused to go outside and tell people, hey, we only got this many. Maybe you should go home. Right. You're not going to get one. No, no, no. They'll, they'll, they'll come in and buy something else. What? Like what? Who the fuck's gonna wait? Oh, Who's right. gonna wait all night? Oh fuck! I didn't get a PlayStation. <laughs> I, I guess I'll get a toaster. Now. Yeah, yeah. Like what the fuck? Nobody's yeah. gonna fucking do that shit. Come on, um, John. What was your favorite console that you like? Man, yeah, like, I can always PlayStation too because right. it was like yeah. it was the first one where I was like, damn, the graphics are amazing. Right. Like it, it had that fucking. Junk. I would say that with PlayStation though. PlayStation was for me was that that console I was like, god damn, this shit looks. This is crazy. Right. Uh, Even you mentioned yeah, it with the like, whole uh, Tomb Raider uh, and her pointy tits and shit. Right. <laughs> or the Tekken. Tekken was bad. Yeah, Tekken, Tekken was cool because Tekken, like, you could, like, from Tekken 1 to Tekken 3, you could right. tell how much graphic it increased because yeah. Tekken 1 looked like boxes and then Tekken 3 looked pretty damn good for its time. Um, for me, I'll tell you what. When I go back and I play PlayStation games, it's hard for me to play any of them. Like, it's hard for me to play them, right? To me, I'm going to say Nintendo because Nintendo, I can always go back and play those games and have a good time. Right. That was my first, first console ever. Uh, the Nintendo. Did you have it? Nintendo. Did you have it around the time when, when it was actually out and running? Like, no, I was. No. So you were, like, like, you were you were like me? I was like yeah. five years old. So, like, so that play, was like 92. So like me, I was really bad. So like PlayStation was out and I and I then I, at that point I got a Nintendo. <laughs> What? <laughs> I never uh, got consoles when I was a kid, but I had to. That yeah, that was that's a whole now story. I don't know why you're so fucking tech thirsty. <laughs> I'm telling you, um, I'm spoiled. <laughs> like for me, Mar- Super Mario Three is like my favorite, one of my favorite games. Oh uh, yeah, and I can pick that's that one up game. and play it, and I'm and you get addicted to it. That was my for first the game. Super Nintendo. No, the original Nintendo, the third one, the one that was like really oh, colorful okay. or whatever. That right. you could that's be the raccoon. Right, game, right. right. That's that's got to be one of my favorite video games. I like yeah. I like Ninja Turtles Three, the Manhattan Project. That's well, a good ass game. Keep it with Mario uh, for the N64, the first one that came out. 
Super Mario 64? Yeah. Right. That, that one, I didn't play that one that much, to be honest. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that, I played that. That was, that like was my first game on uh, N64. And I actually, I still play it right now on my, on my Xbox. I have all those games. But, like, N64, when I think of N64, I think GoldenEye. That's it. Oh, yeah. Golden yeah. And yeah. WWE No oh, Mercy. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, Revenge. And Revenge. Yeah. WCW yeah. Revenge. That's all I remember. Like, So, let's go by console and tell me what game you remember. Jimmy, Nintendo, what do you remember? Um, Mario 3. What else? Give me two. Paperboy. Two. One uh, at a time, John. Oh. <laughs> Jimmy, that's the only game I had, but uh, I say Mario One, Mario One, and okay, three, yeah. Mario One and Mario Three, John, yeah, Paperboy, Duck Hunt, yeah, that was I, gonna see, say, I was, was going to say Duck Hunt and Super Mario that. Three. Um, if I had to pick another one, because I you, you picked Duck Hunt, um, the I want to say, whoa, you said family Duck Hunt, show, you heard. said this is not no fucking family <laughs> show, you said Duck Hunt, and you said what? Excite? No, you said uh, Paperboy. Paper so I'll go with. Super Mario 3, and I'll go with um, Metroid. Okay. Metroid was a good game. Yeah. And then the, 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 the what was the little one called? The uh, Game Boy. The Game Boy version oh, was yeah, badass, yeah. too. Yeah. All right, let's go Sega. Jimmy. Uh, Sonic. What else? Sonic and NBA Jam. Okay, all right, that's good picks. What you got? There's a lot of Sega games. Fuck, yeah. There's I, a lot. I had a bunch, too. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, I'm going to go... Sonic and Tails, the second one. So Sonic 2. You could race with each other. Yeah. And I'm going to go Golden X. Okay. Okay. I can see that. So I'll go Vector Man, Vector Man, and Tiny Toon Adventures. That was a fun game. Fucking child. (laughs) What you want me to tell you, bro? You want me to get Lion King or something? Even though that was a. That that game was fucking annoying and hard. What about uh, Aladdin? Uh, that was Edward. fucking hard too. Uh, yeah. All the Disney games. Fuck. Are. God oh, damn. Like I, I just I I would stop playing them. I love Aladdin. Oh my god, those games are so fucking hard. Super Nintendo, which is another console I didn't really have. I didn't have. I never had it, but I played a few games. Go ahead, Jimmy. Super Nintendo. I never had it. So <clears throat> I gained pretty much. I bought it like late on, like when I was older. But I don't really have a game for that. John. I didn't have it either, but. Ninja Turtles and Streets of Rage. I would have to go Donkey Kong and Mortal Kombat 2. Now, the next console no one had. I had it. Sega Saturn. Anybody have a Sega Saturn? No. I did. So, like, the only games that were really good, they were, like, Virtual Fighter and Virtual Cop. I think I I, I bought it. Or Cruising. Oh, what was uh, Daytona USA, the car game? Hey, that was the arcade game. That was the arcade game, but they ported it. Oh, yeah, okay. But they ported it onto the onto the onto the Saturn. Uh, PlayStation's hard too because there's a fucking library for days. Right, right. Oh, I have got that. Go. Uh, Twisted Metal. Good game. And Resident Evil. Good games. Good games. Jimmy. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. Good game. And the Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is a little boring for me sometimes. Yeah. A little boring to me. Okay, um, perky tits. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would go with. Metal Gear Solid, yeah, that game was badass. Um, and not to pick the ones you guys picked because I like those two. Um, remember Siphon Filter? Yeah, that was yeah, a good game a really too. Good that was game. a good game too. What was the guy's character's name? Logan or something like that? The main guy or whatever? You, I forget. you say Metal Gear Solid, right? Metal Gear Solid and and Siphon Filter. Siphon Filter was a good game. Remember Snake was uh, Metal Gear Solid, right? That was Metal Gear Solid. They're gonna remake that game, which is cool, but it's only on a PlayStation, but. Whatever, <laughs> who cares? Um, what's the next one? PS two. I t- PS no. Um, N sixty four. Oh, um, 007 and No Mario. Mercy. 007 and No Mercy. WWE No Mario Mercy. Mario sixty four. What else? That's it. Yeah. Easy, Starcraft. Starcraft. Star Fox. I mean Star Fox. Star Fo- yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. That's a good game. What you got? Super Smash Brothers. Hey, yeah. hey, good game, good game. Uh, NBA course hour. Uh, Kobe, Kobe Bryant, Bryant. starring yeah. Kobe Bryant. <laughs> he look at this guy's face. He's like, <laughs> that should have been starring Chris Webber. That's what he's thinking. Um, <clears throat> what do we got next? PS2. Fuck, I don't know. That's too many games, man. Yeah. Which one came out? Y'all forgetting the GameCube too. So, man, who played the game? You played the game? I had the game. You had the game. Go ahead. What you got? Piece. What you got? Uh, Resident Evil Zero was on that game. Was on I was on GameCube. That was pretty good. I remember playing that for a little while. I don't know. I just that I would have to say like Super Smash Brothers because that's what yeah, everyone will talk was about. That, was that melee? Yeah, like every everyone yeah. talk about Super Smash Brothers. That was like the game for them. 
you know? It was actually like that game was just full of sequels because <laughs> they had uh, Courtside 2 with that too. NBA Courtside 2 with Kobe Bryant. With Kobe Bryant? Or I think it was like a new one. This, this guy just hates it. Like He just <laughs> hates fucking Kobe Bryant. Kobe. He just fucking hates him. Um, all right, let's jump up a little bit. So let's go because the PS2 and the PlayStation basically have the same fucking Dreamcast games. Dreamcast now, right? The Dreamcast? 2K. You remember 2K. Any, any, any 2K. Any 2K. Anything on 2K. NFL 2K, uh, NBA 2K. Shenmue? Yeah, I didn't play I, that oh, one. I, I didn't like that. I played that too. I still play it. Ah, oh, man. Shenmue. I'm still trying to beat he, it. He doesn't like Asian people. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 4? That was on there. That was the, the really first yes. 3D version of Mortal Kombat. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, let, let's jump up. So let's go Xbox, uh, Xbox and and PS3. That's PS3. when it got good. Xbox 360. <clears throat> yeah, let's do 360. And PS3. Gears of War. PS3. Was Gears of War was the shit. Halo four, Halo three and four were the shit too. GTA. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. Grand Theft Auto three for me. When did they start doing those Nate and Drake games? Uh, Uncharted with the PS3, no. I think so. Yeah. I was like the first one. Like you got, you got to say that game. That game was badass. You know, um, PS4. Any games? Xbox One. I can't even say anything because the Xbox One didn't really have <laughs> great games like that. Xbox Four. It, that's the dude, one I the, got now. The Xbox One. Overwatch. You said Xbox Four. You I idiot. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Dude, I'm lethargic. I I ate twelve tacos before I got. God. Oh, oh, my fucking, God. Um, I don't know big. they. The Xbox One is so fucked, like, so fucked, like, Xbox never had really good luck. This is the first time they've launched something, and they don't really have a lot of problems. Because the 360 had the problem with the red ring, right? 50% fucking failure rate. Xbox One, they shot themselves in the fucking foot from the get-go. From the, from the moment they announced it, they already had fucking problems. So they were saying that, oh, you couldn't trade in your games anymore, oh, yeah. that it was going to be tied into that console, and that's it. Yeah. And I kind of agreed with that, because... I hate GameStop because GameStop fucking gives you nothing for stuff that you can, you should get more than five bucks for a fucking game. Yeah. And that was going to stick it to them because if you can't trade it in, guess who's going to go out of business? GameStop because that's where they make their most money because they give you five dollars and then they sell it for 60, mm. you know? So they did that. They were saying about the, the well, connect. They are running a yeah. business. They sure. Can. But they're raping you, bro. That's rape. Right. Let me tell you the worst one I ever saw. When the Xbox 360 came out, we were playing Quake 4. Quake 4 was a piece of crap. Mm. So it debuted, and the next day, I went to trade it in. So that means 48 hours ago, this game technically didn't even exist. Right. Because ah. there was no console out to play it on. And I took it in, and they wanted to give me $15 for a game that cost, <laughs> that cost 60 bucks <laughs> and it didn't even exist the day before. Like, really? What the fuck? But whatever. Um, the Xbox One had issues from the get go. Mm. You know, PlayStation's always had pretty smooth, pretty smooth debuts, except for this one. Bad. This one's looking pretty bad. Jimmy, what have you heard about the uh, PlayStation? Yeah, the problems they got going on. Uh, like disc drive, not like is not working properly. Um, yeah, I heard that they're fucking having download problems. So like, if you download, like you can't put your old games on there. So anything PS4, yeah. you got to keep it off for now until they fix it, mm. right? So that's a big thing. Um, they're having problems with downloading games. So like if you like, I think it was specifically with like Miles Morales and oh. and Call of Duty, the new one. Like they would get stuck, and then they would restart the console, and the console then would have to go through and erase everything, and you got to download it all over again. It was such a thing. Now they're having issues with the HDMI ports. Not issues, but like they're not they're not proving what they said they were gonna put in it. So they said it was going to do, you know, so much. And when they plugged it up to a meter to actually measure it, it doesn't do that much, mm. you know. So they're having issues. I don't think it's anything that's crazy that's going to fucking sink it, right? I mean, either way, no, no. there's no way to sink it right now because there's no, there's no, we don't actually have Xboxes available. So even if you wanted to switch, if, you can't switch if right Xbox now. Xbox made it through all those tragedies, I think PlayStation is going to be. No, there. I agree. I agree. Don't but you have to have a like a special port to get like the uh, hundred and twenty some gig frame rate? The frame rate, yeah. you gotta have to have a two point one uh, HDMI port. Cool. But the TV has to be able to do it. Right. And the thing is, not too many TVs do right, that right, shit. Not right now. They don't do it. I mean, it's it's. Do you even know what that means? 
Stop looking at my refrigerator, uh, my mini fridge look over there. Look at your goddamn fucking Xbox right there. Oh, yeah, it looks like one a is space kind of heater. Yeah, that one is bigger. It's fucking warm, too. That fucking thing is going to save me on fucking gas. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty warm. Um, But she ain't got no problems. Right. It ain't got no problems. The only she? problem the only problem it has, and it's annoying, but I don't really use it. So, Jimmy, you, you, you follow up on stuff, right? Right. Okay, so you know how the Xbox had this feature called Quick Resume, right? <laughs> So basically what that does is that it stores a game in like memory so that way you can switch games and it'll pick up just like right, this. Like right, if you right, like right. if you never left the game, right? So you can go play Halo, leave it, go and play something go, else yeah, like and then go back to Halo and it'll turn on just like that. Yeah. It's like multitask. So it's it's stupid cuz so if I'm playing Halo 5, let's play I'm playing online. Here's the only issue I I've, I've found so far. If I switch to another game and then I go back to Halo, it picks up where I left off, but for some reason, now when I try to find a game online, It'll it'll say it can't connect to the server, so then I gotta back out, shut the game down, start the game up over, and then it works fine. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that's an issue that they know of. I haven't really heard too much of it, but that's the only thing I've fuck dealt with. So I don't know. See, I don't know. See, I got the one with without the disc, the um, the all digital, yeah, the S. Yeah. How do you like it? It's pretty good. Like, uh, it's does it look good? Thing. Does it like the graphics look better to you? It should it be the same? Or I don't know. Well, it's supposed to be higher definition, right? Okay, yeah, but I need a higher definition TV, so. <laughs> that would help. Right. That would help. I still got a TV from like 10 years ago, so. Oh, my. The, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's HD, but it's not. Right, like, it's not It's, it's not, not up, like, it's not up not there. Up today, yeah. um, the white one, people say that it's so, it's pointless, right? Like, well, who, who would it's buy cheaper. it? Who would buy it? It's cheaper. It's cheaper. And I think if it, it serves a purpose. Like, if it's, I'm not saying it's for kids. Right, but it's yeah. more for people who are not serious gamers. Right, right, mm. right. Because you don't need the space. Because I, well, then they don't even come with what they say. So, so they all say one terabyte, but they come with eight hundred gigs. So why didn't you right. get the white one? I did. I was my my plan was to get the white one. Why that was my you, plan. Why you didn't keep the white one? Did you have it? Because I had a chance to get this one. <laughs> uh, so if I'm gonna keep one or the other, I might as well just keep the big one. The thing was when I saw them come out, I was like, I'll try it for the black one. But if I don't get it, I'm cool with the white one. It's not a big deal. I big just deal. wanted a next gen console, so I say like, let me just get the white one. But there's no games right now either for them. That's the crazy right. part. Like hey, I think PlayStation's were, I think PlayStation's winning there because they have more exclusives right, right. ready to go than the Xbox did. Yeah. Right. But then again, if they don't work, then what's the fucking point? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, just I knew these new next gens gonna have like they always gonna have issues. They always gonna have issues. That's why I waited. For the yeah, second batch, you, 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 you gotta gonna, wait. The second batch, you gotta have to wait till next <laughs> summer, bro. You might as well <laughs> reserve it for next Christmas. That shit, ain't going, you ain't getting nah, nothing. You, you might get it. You yeah. might get it. I don't think you get your shit this year. You, you ain't getting get shit. You might no. get it by March, or April. You better pay like twelve hundred bucks, thirteen hundred bucks. For, have you seen the fucking ridiculous prices? Yeah. They've been, oh my god, right, right, bro. This is ridiculous. People are people are insane. If you pay two thousand dollars for a PlayStation, you're an idiot. <laughs> They, I'm sorry, you're an idiot. They they caught me too late. Had I been 20, uh, 18, 20, maybe? I may have done it. Oh, you're but, fucking uh, I'm, nuts, bro. I'm 37 now. Hell no. I mean, I sold I sold my white one for two hundred dollars more than than retail. Mm. That's good. Yeah. I don't think that's out of po- I don't think that's out of pocket. Because when I looked them up on 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 offer up, like they were going for about five hundred, a little over five hundred mm. for the white one. So I sold it five hundred. You know, I got to make a profit, right? right? I mean. I got lucky to get both and of them. And yet you shame GameStop for trying to do <laughs> what you do. Sure, but here's the thing. You can't... Okay, here's my point. With, with that, is different because those are limited. Okay. The games are not limited. You can get multiple copies of the game. I'm not telling you they should give you exactly what it cost, mm. but fuck, at least let me get... At least let me pick up a... Let me get an even exchange for a used game. <laughs> right. Like, goddamn, like, I can't even... If I, if I take in a game that just came out, I can't even pick up a five-year-old copy of NBA 2K that's used in the store without without pulling out some money. That's kind of rough. Right. That's fucked up. Look at I traded in my Xbox S, the old one, right? Hmm. I traded that in. They gave me 110 bucks for it, right? I traded in a, an old-ass copy of NBA Live because I don't need it anymore because it's part of EA. It's part of game, uh, uh, not League Pass. Uh, uh, game, game Pass. Right, it's yeah. part of Game Pass now. Halo's part of Game Pass. So I traded that in. I ended up with like 125 bucks credit. And then I bought the the remote, the the elite remote. Mm-hmm. How the fuck does a remote cost $180? <laughs> How does somebody buy one? With with a with a trade-in. Oh, okay. So I ended do, up what it's supposed to do. So it gives you 
So you have more buttons that you can customize, right? So you have paddles in the back, right? And you can put whatever whatever button you want. So like if you want this paddle to be jump for in Halo, for example, you can program it. Mm-hmm. It also has different thumbsticks that you can take off and replace. Like they have a rounder one, they have the regular one, they have a taller one. Um, you can also <laughs> this is an idiot. Uh, different, uh, different ways to cheat. It's not cheating. It's not cheating. Uh, you could tighten up the joysticks, which I think is pretty cool. So it's not as loose. Like, you know how a controller, as it gets old, it's like it flops around. Or in PlayStation terms, it just gets stuck on one side. Right. John, you know about that. Yeah, I, unfortunately. <laughs> well, no, no, no. That, that's because I slam my controllers <laughs> on the floor from time to time. Oh, fuck. I went through three um, PlayStation controllers, PlayStation 4 controllers. Just fucked up? Yeah. How many Xbox controllers did you ever go through? Wait, when how long was, have they lasted? Is it like you? a rage quit? Nah, not in rage. Did it just, just stopped like, working. Oh. It just stopped working. How many Xbox controllers have you gone through? And I can say one. Damn. Yeah, y'all don't what? Tell stories like that? Y'all never broke anything? Of course we've nah, broken I things. Break. I used to slap you know, I but my slam, I used to slam the controller. Man. My my anger my anger stopped after Nintendo. I used to beat the shit out of my <laughs> Nintendo, bro. Bro, that was the most annoying. Nintendo was so stupid because fucking the console was defective from the factory, mm. right? So I had an issue with the tray. Because in, J- in Japan, they never had this problem. They never had the, the, the flashing problem. Yeah. Right? Because their console, the Famicom, you put the disc, the, the cartridge straight in mm-hmm. like a Super Nintendo. Yeah. So you never had a problem. The problem was when you would slide it into the VCR looking mm-hmm. fucking thing, when you would bend it down, oh, yeah. it would bend the fucking pins and the pins wouldn't make contact. So by the time you got a used one like I did, 50 years later after it came out, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking thing would only stay on for like five yeah. minutes. And I'd be pissed because I'd be running through Mario, like Mario 1, wow. and I'll get to like whatever, the eighth world or whatever. All of a sudden, that blue and red, blue oh, and yeah, red flat. And that. I would be, bro, I would get up and beat the living right, dog shit out right. of my fucking Nintendo, bro. Like it owed me money. You got to have it a certain way before. Bro, you fuck blow that. It. Bro, that was the dumbest design ever. Then they never went back to it because then they fucking did the top loaders right. yeah. going forward. But, um, I don't know. I, this this new console war is kind of pointless, but I, honestly, I don't think there's a lot of improvement in these games. Nah, it's just the graphics a little bit, but a little the, bit, yeah, a little bit. It's a it's, little bit, yeah. But then it's like they making like on two K, they making the players look worse, like James Harden. <laughs> you see, because they're see actually the making them look like they do in real life, yeah. So yeah. they look oh, horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I haven't played two K. Um, it looks it looks it looks okay, but I don't. I, it's just it's not a it's not a dramatic jump for me. This right, generation, it's not, no. it's not like when we jumped from when we jumped from Super Nintendo to to Sega Saturn to PlayStation. That was a big jump, right? Yeah. And when we jumped from PlayStation to PlayStation Three, it was a big jump. Now it's like the PS4 Pro can basically do the same thing. Right. This one can do, just not as fast. Yeah. So why are we jumping generations already? You know, we like, should what just f- be in games now. <laughs> and then I, I've always I always ask this question: like, How far are we gonna go with graphics? Because I'm like, console right. wars are gonna stop at some point. Because once they start looking like you and me, where are they gonna go from there? You can't go yeah, more can't real go than fucking real, right? right? So, so how, you, how you feel about VR? That's not going nowhere. Not. I feel like they've tried that already, bro. I mean, the motion the motion sensor stuff kind of right. took a you know it had its time and it died out. But like it was like a fad. You gotta have the perfect situation for that. Yeah, right. a big house. Yeah, because right. you gonna be knocking in the shit, breaking shit. But they was doing that like years ago, like twenty years ago. Well, they were doing that with the Virtual Boy. The right. Virtual Boy was that that thing that would cause you eye strain or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it was all red yeah. laser and shit. Right. Like, I don't see VR going anywhere, bro. It's just too much. Like, you have to have like the it, if it was like you ever watch Ready Player One, the movie. No. You ever watch Ready Player One? No. So in that movie, in that movie, basically they they. They're avatars, right? So mm-hmm. they go into like a, a room or whatever, and they have like they're on a treadmill that gyroscopes or whatever. They put the whole thing, and they're running and doing whatever. Like if you could do that, I guess, right? That'd be cool. But who has the money for it? Exactly. Like you're never gonna get there. You know, I would love to play Halo with a with where you could actually hide behind something, right, you know, right. and do it. But who's gonna pay for that technology? Unless That's gonna cost a shit ton. Unless you get something where you actually look like you're fucking something for real. <laughs> I guess that'll make money. Jeez, you want ver- you want VR porn? Is that what you want? No, I don't want it. Oh, sure you don't. <laughs> um, 
Weren't you just looking at some a little while ago before we, <laughs> no, we man, went on the air? Even do, my friend sent me a video and it was one of these videos where it's like, hey, Turn listen to what ice sounds like when it's thrown off yeah. a 500 foot bridge. And then when it goes to hit the floor, you hear, ah, <laughs> and then, what the fuck am I sweating? You know, you know, it's funny. Rafi, Rafi does that, t- that shit to me at work, bro. So Rafi, Rafi, oh, and my cousin too. My cousin sends me a bunch of that shit. So he sends me one. And it's this girl, bro. She's like, vol- like voluptuous as hell, right? So she's lying on the floor, mm. right? And all you, you see her like breathing hard, <laughs> right? And then you see her like she's moving, right, or whatever. And then uh, the camera's panning from like on top, like her face down, down, down. And then she's like doing like a a, a little mini bike thing oh, or whatever. Oh, and then okay. in the in, in the in the background in Spanish, you hear uh, you hear you hear a uh, uh, Hispanic dude say. Uh, Mal pensado. <laughs> <laughs> Bucas a Dios. <laughs> He's basically telling like, bro, your your mind is all fucked up. You need to look for God. <laughs> Those things are funny, bro, but I don't know. Um, if we stay on the topic of technology, right? Jimmy, yeah. you're a big Apple fan because you could only be an Apple fan or, or an Android. You can't be on both, yeah. right? Defend it, please, because I know John defend. doesn't care, but defend Apple for no. me. I'm just going to talk. What does Apple do well, if anything? It makes your um, pictures look better on uh, social media. uh, That's because they have a tie-in with with certain companies. Like, they have a a thing with uh, Instagram, not Instagram. What's the one with the, the one that's like Snapchat? Snapchat. They have a thing with Snapchat or whatever. Um, I don't know, bro. I I feel like people. Take that. (laughs) People talk so much shit. Like, everybody's, you know, Apple fan or whatever. It's it's user-friendly. So what you're telling me is that it's it's for dum dums, it's for people I mean, that can't figure things simple, out. It's kind of simple, but it's 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 for simple minded people. Yeah, it's simple, but it is is it's it effective. Works. Yeah, okay. Look, I had I've had iPhones for a long time. I had the original one all the way up to like. Why are you talking shit. Why? See, right? Because I can. He's, he's because saying. I actually have experience in a lot of different phones. I hate when an iPhone fan comes up to me and says iPhone's the best. They've okay, never had what else have you had? Oh, nothing. Just iPhone. Then fuck you. You have no. You have no yeah. position in this conversation. How do you know that it's the best if you haven't tried anything else? Reminds me of the people saying that LeBron James is the best. <laughs> but but that's, ne- that's the new never, generation, bro. That's them kids. That, no, that's that's just, them kids, the bro. Thing. They've never seen Michael Jordan. That's them kids, bro. Them kids are stupid. I was just thinking of that too. Um, but uh, again, and I've had arguments with like I want to say you know I've had people that literally straight iPhones and they want to argue with me. I'm like, dude, look, if you really want me to tell you what company makes the best fucking phone that I've ever had in my life, OnePlus is the best fucking company. What's OnePlus? There you go. Yeah, what's OnePlus? There you need to I broaden. Heard of, I heard of them. It's a, it's a brand. It was a startup brand a few years ago. and they Where, Korea? No. <laughs> they're from, I forget where they're from. Um, they were, Their whole mindset was, we're going to make a premium phone for half the price. And they did. That's what and I it heard. caught on. And it caught on. And they're still selling really, really fucking good phones for less than anything else. And they have the same fucking features. The same one. Like the coolest thing I had with the last one was that I remember I showed, I think I showed you the little camera would pop out. Yeah. The selfie camera would pop out. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I mean, I don't, it's a gimmick, but those things, and that phone cost me $400 less than the competing Samsung or the competing iPhone. Mm. You know, that's, that's, that phone is badass. But everyone's either Samsung or iPhone. I'm like, honestly, I'm tired of both. But but iPhone, they have cheaper versions, and then they have like they have versions for like four hundred dollars, and then they have versions for like fifteen hundred dollars. So it's you can get it all across the board. Yeah, have, but like, no no one ones. no one. That's like that's like buying a car. That's like buying a car, but you get the base model, knowing that you really really wanted the premium model. Like, yeah, you could afford it. It's cheaper. It's cheaper, but in your heart, you really, you didn't want that one. You're settling. Yeah. You're settling for that one. You know but what I'm saying? it's still Apple. Some people just get the product just for the name. A lot of people get the product really? just for the name. Now, Apple's a good product. Sounds like you. Apple's a great product. <laughs> Jordan. Now, now you're saying it's, it's a Apple's a great product. product. Yeah. I, I'll never say it's not a great product. It's an overpriced fucking product. But it, but that's why they trying to get into, like, the cheaper versions, like, not with every yeah. fucking everything else that they fucking make. <laughs> fucking Max costs a shit ton of money. And that's why they got a cheaper version. They don't have cheaper. There is no There is no such thing as a cheap Mac. But how much? The, you want to know what the cheapest Mac is? The cheapest Mac is the Mac, the Mac Mini. 
right? The little computer one so that you like can plug. In. To us. And it's still it's still seven hundred dollars. I mean, it's like seven hundred dollars, yeah. right? So the cheapest MacBook Air was a thousand dollars even. That's oh. the one I got. That's you can true. get a Windows computer for half that. But yeah. is, is you gonna get the right quality? There's the, there's the thing. There you have to make your decision. Right. So like I had to go with Mac, because Mac is built more in a creative sense. Mm-hmm. So it has more creative applications. It has more creative. I don't want to say capability because the other ones do too. But it's more simple when it comes to creative stuff. Like when we needed it for iMovie or Final Cut Pro or GarageBand, we were using when we were using, using the thing. computer. Um, you know, it's good for that. It's worth it for that. There he goes, a hypocrite again. No, I'm, I'm not <laughs> the saying. iPhones for simple-minded people, but I need a Mac because it's simple. Yeah, and, and that's okay. It's it's okay for certain things, but I won't say they're the best fucking computers in the world. Why are you even friends with this oh guy? Oh, my God. Because <laughs> um, You know why he's friends with me? Because I pass him the ball oh. when we play basketball because really? a lot of people don't pass the ball nowadays. You don't pass the ball to me. Because you fucking <laughs> suck. you fucking worthless. I haven't it's played basketball uh, since, like, COVID. March. Yeah, yeah since basically. COVID. I mean, we've been playing here and there in little gyms, but nothing crazy. Now, what? I don't know what's going to happen oh, now. You shouldn't have said that. Why? Because they're going to crack down on your ass. Are they going to come storming <laughs> in through with, with a no knock uh, warrant, yeah. John? With a no knock warrant, they're going to come here? Like a, the fucking Gestapo. Ju- Giuliani going to go. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I don't know. Apple's cool, but I just think Apple's a little too uh, overpriced for what they give you. Because as you get everything with a Samsung. You get You just started with good Samsungs, right? You get everything and every fucking thing with this phone. So yeah. Ex- yeah. explain how Samsung is good to you. Okay. If I buy a Samsung, a modern day Samsung, the latest one, whatever. When I buy that thousand and a half hundred dollar phone, right? I know I get every fucking feature that's available. Everything, right? Every fucking thing. Even if it's an iron dial test I get it. So if it has fingerprint scanning or whatever, blah, 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 you get it for the price. Say it in Japanese. <laughs> Sounds nicer. Um, Samasunga. <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> um, if, you, if you get an Apple product, if you get an iPhone, right? Mm. First of all, you're basically getting last year's phone because it looks the fucking same. It runs the same fucking way, that right? That's true. And they don't add too much to it. Sometimes right. they sometimes they take stuff away. Yeah, and then uh, uh, like right now you don't get a charger. Can you believe that, John? You don't get a fucking charging brick with your cell phone. And they said, and and then they're saying they're doing it for the for the environment. Yeah, that's the biggest bullshit. Like the sound of that. Well, you, if you got to get one anyways, how does that right. help the environment? Uh, they, Here, but they figured that like, you would have one already. Yeah. Here, here's the funny part though. If you're not gonna give me something, why the fuck is the price the same price? <laughs> yeah. Why didn't the price go down fifty bucks? If the fucking charger costs fifty dollars. Thing. Don't tell me it's for the environment. It's not for the environment. You just want to make more money. Be real. They don't care about the trees you're chopping down to make them extra dollar bills to pay them. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Fucking Apple's good product. It's just, it's too, it's like getting a, it's like you're paying Mercedes Benz price, but you're getting a fucking Dodge Omni. Nah, I want a Mercedes. Dodge I'm, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You, but you get what I'm saying? It's, or you're getting a Mercedes Benz. You're paying Mercedes Benz price, but you got roll up windows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Versus the Samsung is a Mercedes Benz with power windows because you get the features. You get every fucking feature. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather pay the money and have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Yeah. Makes sense. Right? right. But uh, Jimmy, what do you think, man? You, you, you never tried anything else? You always been Apple uh, fan or what? I, I, I had, um, I had um, the iPhone. I think I had like the iPhone 5 and then uh, went to Samsung for like a month. You gave it I up? Couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't do <laughs> a it. A month? That's a month. it? Holy shit. I was willing to pay whatever I owed on that phone. To get out of the car. <laughs> Damn. That bad. Yeah. Holy shit. It w- it's good with like, you can put extended uh, storage yeah. into it. Well, and, not no more. They did. They Apple, don't do that neither? It's because Apple. Apple <laughs> no, I'm talking about Samsung. No, no. Yeah, but here's the thing. So Apple, the one bad thing about Apple is that once Apple does something, Everybody fucking does it. <laughs> so Apple took out the fucking headphone jacks. Oh. So now everybody took the fucking headphone jacks out. So now this time Apple took all the charging bricks out. So guess what's going to happen in two years? Right. Everybody's going to fucking do the same thing. It's because all, if they can get away with it, everybody's going to get away with it. Everything, yeah. Everything's it's fucking wireless, stupid. Wireless and digital. Yeah, but then again, Apple's always been late to the fucking party. Bro, wireless charging has been around forever. And Apple's, Apple adopted it like 
two years ago. Now they got a new magnetic. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, this is wireless charger. That's all it is. Right. That's all it is. Like the, the whole fingerprint scanner thing. Well, fingerprint scanners have been around for a long ass time, but when Apple debuts it, oh, we just came up with this amazing new technology. That's not. Bro, we've been using that for fucking years. <laughs> like, relax. Or they had the, the charging pad thing that they never came out with. They're like, oh, we're the first charging pad where you could charge multiple things at the same time. Oh, like, yeah. bullshit. When I was at Best Buy, they were fucking, this was 2005, they had fucking wireless charging pads. Like, fuck you. But whatever. I digress. Um, What else do you want to talk about, Jimmy? You look like you're a big Bulls fan there. Why yeah. Why do you always do that to the guest? Because I'm running out of things to say. Jesus. <laughs> Pressure. We got to talk about Chicago sports in, in general. What was with that fucking pick? Yeah. I didn't, even pay, pick? I didn't even pay attention okay. to it. So they please explain it to me. The number four pick, they picked Pat, Patrick, Patrick Williams. Williams. Yeah. And in every mock draft, he was getting picked at like 12, 15. So they could have traded down and still had him. Everybody's saying that's a solid. Well, a lot like. The normal fans, they saying like, "Oh, that's a bad pick." But like, you look at like the experts. They, I looked at the, um, I think it's Sam Smith. I'm not for sure, but he said it was a, uh, the grade was a B. So I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> the draft and grade was a B. I don't know because I, I, did, I, I just the only people I was worried about going were like the first three. I, I just wanted, I wanted to see where where ball, the ball kid was gonna end up. Yeah. I was probably like the only thing I was kind of like curious about. I thought we was gonna get Obi Toppin, but but do you really? Okay, somebody that should have been drafted at fifteen. I right? I get into this debate with with, with Rafi all the time. We're like we're we're arguing. We we'll argue. He's probably right, but go ahead. We argue. <laughs> we argue about like how important these college players are, because I'm like, look, okay, is it a rare chance you end up with a LeBron James? That's rare. Rare, yeah. Rare. What are the chances you end up with a Steph Curry? really rare. rare like i haven't seen someone in a draft that like blows me away that since like, like derrick rose later pick what are you talking who, about? no no but who who came out of college and started and was killing who was the last one like killing killing like killing killing i don't know who who was the last one mm. they're all fucking bums you know Anthony why they're all Davis? but he didn't he sure didn't, sure he kind of got lost in in yeah. new orleans yeah. new orleans I don't know. I've always felt like, man, these college kids, they're just not ready to play. Like, they're killers in college. They're killers in college, right? But when you go into the NBA, it's a whole different game, you know? Like, and then his, excuse me, his uh, his thing is like, oh, every every NBA player usually comes from college. I'm like, yeah, I get that. But right. understand there are different levels to this shit, right? So if you compare, if you're the best player in college, you're like here. Everybody, everybody else is here to you, mm. right? So now... In the NBA, everybody is at your level or what? Or higher, mm. right? So now you're the you're the you're this big now. Can you oh, compete yeah. against that? Because now everybody's at your level. Before when you were in college, you were above everyone right, else. Right. Well, that's what everybody was waiting for from Zion, but he's gonna be injury prone. And right. I feel like it's gonna be one of those things that it's like, like every year it's gonna be something. I think them. honestly the last the last person I saw that did it was like Derrick Rose. Like Derrick Rose came out of high school, right? No, he went to college. He went to he went to Memphis one, yeah. one year. So he came out of college Speaking and he of was being injury prone. He was a oh. fucking killer, right? Killer. Yeah. LeBron James came out killer. Kobe <laughs> Bryant, Tracy McGrady. You know that LeBron came out killer? I yeah, mean, not he killer. He wasn't like, a killer, but he was a he was a force. He had potential. Yeah. He was a force from day one. Right, right. From day one, he was yeah. a force. You know what I'm saying? It took him a couple a couple of seasons to get like that elite status, though. Sure. But well, he, from, Doncic, right? Oh yeah, yeah. But I mean, Doncic, even then, but he's not. He's dominant, but he's not like oh, LeBron. Oh, he's not a killer. Nah, he's a he's killer, not. but he's not like dominant, like like LeBron, like those like those characters. You know, like he, I, I can't he, even bro, put. I, I think he's. He'll get there. He's yeah, on he his gonna way get to being. If he just don't get hurt, he'll get. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I've always looked at these college players like, bro, these college players like we, they're so worried about getting dra high draft picks when a lot of a lot of them don't don't get nowhere. Like Lonzo Ball, Lonzo Ball was drafted number two. Oh, I got a question. He was a bum. So, uh, Golden State picked the uh, center, right? Wise yeah, wise yeah. And then fucking Clay Thompson broke his Achilles. I wonder his if they would have got uh, Ball 
if it, this guy would have got injured before. I, you know what? It, it would have been a smarter pick. Oh, that would have been that so would have been a smarter pick, um, bro. But I don't think they knew. They can both. They don't need. Shoot. I don't think they need him. Huh? You don't think they need who? Ball. For Golden State? Well, if you have Clay, then I yeah. Didn't, I didn't but I, you lost Clay, but you lost but Clay for the yeah. whole season. Again, they he tore his Achilles. Up, uh, Kelly, Kelly Oubre Jr. Yeah, the big dude, the center. They picked up the center. No, I'm talking about they just picked up uh, Kelly Oubre. They they traded for him. Yeah. Oh, okay. So okay. he's probably gonna start for them. Yeah, but yeah, I, that would have been so nice to see Steph if, Curry and, and Ball, ball but shooting not, like fucking. But the plan, ten well, feet away from the. Three. He's not a shooter like that. What? The little kid's not that. Not a shooter like that. Who are you talking about, Ball? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah so. Angelo. What is it, Liangelo? Liangelo. That's Lamelo. I'm gonna bet Lamelo. Yeah, Lamelo's the little one. Yeah. Okay. I bet you like fifty bucks right now that that guy's gonna fucking light it up. Nah, you know what? I think he's gonna fall. I think he's he's gonna be a. He's gonna be a good player, but he's Don't not gonna. He's gonna be like his brother. He's gonna no, he's not gonna be that brother. that big of a bum. But I think he's gonna end up kind of like, and it, it might be a little extreme. I think he's gonna end up like like Steph Curry's brother, like Steph Curry, like yeah. Steph Curry. No, I think he's where like high. he's good, like Steph Curry, like his brother's good, but he's not. Obviously, he's not at the level of Steph Curry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he kind of goes under the radar. I think at some point, right now, he's gonna ride this rush where he's coming out of. He's young. He's gonna come out. He's gonna have this peak, kind of like 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 I think his he's brother. Gonna struggle a little bit because he's undersized. Remember when? No, uh, he's not undersized. No, he's he's I mean, he's seven. I'm talking about he's skinny big. wise, like skinny wise. I mean, remember what happened when uh uh uh, uh, uh Lonzo Ball got into it with uh, Patrick Beverly? Yeah. They're gonna baby his ass. No, no I don't think so. You don't think so? Yeah. I think he's uh, a little bit strong. Uh, yeah, he I, I think he's uh, gonna struggle if he struggles in the first couple months. It's gonna be because, um, the moment got to him. But yeah. then once he settles in, you watch. Uh, I, I hope he does. I hope he does because I, I I like I like his game obviously better than his brother, uh, than both of them. Um, well, the other one is the other one didn't make it. Doing coke lines and, <laughs> and stealing stuff stealing from, from <laughs> stealing from China because yeah. they got so much money that they got to steal something from China. Right, that just right. made no sense. Uh, maybe they couldn't get their money, you know, changed over or something. <laughs> um, fucking, I feel bad for Golden State, bro. Because I was a Golden State fan, man. I Clay Thompson, he, I think he's done, bro. That's a, those are two really bad injuries. He tore his Achilles now on his right leg, mm. and then tore his ACL on his left leg. Yeah. Those are two really, really bad injuries. Those are injuries that like can sideline you for like the rest of your career. He's a, he didn't just get one; he got but, both. But with, with his game, is his catch and shoot. So. Sure, but I, I think on the defensive end is where he's going to fucking oh, struggle. Yeah, because he was a good defender. Yeah, he was a great defender. He's gonna That's where he's going like to fucking struggle. Derrick Rose on fucking pitching. Nah, you know who's going to end up playing like and crutches. He's going to end up like with like fucking name. On he's going to end up like Ray Allen, just playing with like LeBron James or something, where he just got to catch yeah, the ball and let it go. Yeah, specialty shooter. Yeah, and that's okay. I think Steph Curry's going to end up that way too, at some point of his career. Cause uh, you know he's gonna slow down, whatever, and you know he's already slow, but he Who? still gets his shot off. Who? Steph Curry. You're fucking nuts. Steph Curry's dribble. awesome. He, Steph I'm, Curry's I'm not saying he isn't. Awesome. I'm saying he's not fast. He's not gonna fucking blow past you. You think so? Still, <laughs> I don't think he. I don't think he's super fast. He's not. I think he's shifty. Like he's quick. Yeah. He's, he's shifty. Jay Morant is fucking fast. The kid from uh, the Kings, Fox. He's oh, yeah, he, fucking. Fast. He just signed an extension with them. I'm trying to think like who's really like really quick on their feet. John Wall? I think he's the yeah. John Wall used to be. Yeah, he's slowing down college. a little bit. Um, you think Kyrie Irving's fast or he's just shifty? shifty. He's shifty. So I think Steph Curry. I think Fox is the fastest yeah, one. He's the yeah, he's fast. Um, I think Steph Curry. The bad thing about Steph Curry now is that Steph Curry, he's always been under scrutiny because he can never he never shows up in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? He averages ugly ass numbers in the, in, in the season, and when it comes to the playoffs, he kind of just. Well, Tinkers down, but then it has to do with the defense. Key on, it has to be the defense. And look, here's the thing: they were talking about him on on first take, not first take. What's the other one? Undisputed. And and Skip was saying it's all the same shit. Skip was saying no one's on Fox, one's on ESPN. Um, Skip was all saying the that the biggest thing is going to be um, his his uh, if he can carry the weight now because it's a lot of weight, mm. you know. But um, I think with that we're going to call it a night, guys, because. Uh, running a little long and that camera's beeping at me just like it is right now um so jimmy i appreciate it man um you have your own channel right uh it's on the anchor uh anchor.fm backslash jab the podcast i thought you were gonna forget it for a second uh cool so um 
Again, everything we said here is in our opinion. And uh, and if you don't agree with it, then I got three words for you. Uh, thanks for listening. <laughs>